Nathan Records was planted by a group of friends who had a collective wish of creating a platform for releasing new, bold and spectacular stars. On a non-profit basis we aim to grow in music. Because, what is music? Does anyone decide what music is? In this way we want to deliver the experiences from and into the tales of the indescribable. With potential and transforming creativity that flows among us in mind. We at Sanatan decided to accumulate our energy and tap into the chaotic forces of creativity, pushing the frontiers of hard weird knob tweaking. So it is with honor and great pleasure we serve the audience, everyone who has acquired a taste for this mind and body pounding driving force, naming, in the broad sense of the meaning, psychedelica, ultimately just bringing you the proper ear like candy appetizers you long for, usage in whatsoever suitable occasions. Music without any bore. These are the voyages of Sanatan Records to continue the mission for vision following intuition to explore strange new worlds and seek out new sounds and bombarding beats to fold the audio where no sound the holic has traveled before. Boom. Bombarded by Sanatones. Hello guys. Hello. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. Finally, we have you for an interview. It's a real pleasure for me also to finally yeah. celebrate yeah. together the yeah. years of Sanaton. So yeah, welcome guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for doing this. Hello Nico. Thank you for having us on the Meeting of the Minds series. We hope you are well. First off, we want to send out a big thank you to all you fellow freaks and cosmonauts out there. Thank you all for your support during the 15 years that have passed. It's been a long and wonderful trip. So, 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 so tell me guys, why it is Sanatum um, means, or roughly translates into speechless, unspoken, wordless, or something that is impossible to express in words. words. This was very fitting for us since we're focusing on instrumental music, without any lyrics, and maybe even music beyond words or expression that you can't explain in a normal state of mind. It felt very fitting for us to have it as the name of our label. The fact that one of the founders of the label has his roots in Finland is the reason why we ended up with a Finnish name on a Swedish label. <laughs> well, that was was quite some time ago. Some of us are friends from, from, from the high school days, growing up together, playing in bands, Doing all kinds of fun and crazy shit together. Of course, of course, of course, of course, some people came in later and some people disappeared a bit along the way. But, but there is a history there that connects us. We are all born and raised in the small town of Oribro. We, we got it together through friends and the mutual interest and love for experimental music. There was a lot of parties around Oribro at that time, and most of us were there and did experience the magic in the infamous forests of Tilsbergen. These parties planted a seed in many of us and we felt something, found something or maybe even lost something in these mystical woods, and this also glued us together in a magic way. We found some kind of direction in all of this, we shared a lot of laughs and had a lot of good and dimensional times on these parties. Indeed, in the beginning there were quite a big bunch of us hanging out making weird plans together. Not everyone was doing music or producing music, but everyone had creative skills in one way or another. Also, many of us were playing in different rock bands or whatever styles we enjoyed. It's hard to say exactly where everybody got to know each other from the start, it'll grow very organically we would say. Besides the shared love for music we also found each other in different ways and on different levels, for example with art, movies, nature, humor and so on. We basically share the same world view, 
<laughs> perspective of things. There is something there that connects us on many levels. 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 I, 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 I think that's very interesting. I would love to expand more on this idea of what viewpoints. What really get together? Why you got together? Not how. <laughs> can try to answer that in English so everyone can follow. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we mentioned friendships and same taste in music, but also viewpoints, standpoints and some ideas on how the world works or not works. Beside all this, we shared some very interesting experiences together, from daily lifts up and downs into realms that were really in high orbit, to say the least. Even though the artists here at Sonatin does not sound the same, the music shares a similar vibe, influenced by each other. Each other. Each other. With an open mind and a lot of laughs and fun nights in the studio, we continue to support each other, trusting each other's judgment, and encourage each other to make more stuff and to feel free to build and evolve our ideas. We have had a strong impression that many of the Sonatan artists are a drive of their own in the sense that the greatest part of making music is, is, is the actual making of it. The creation itself. The finished track is like a bonus more than the aim to create a new banging hit. The music is mainly done for our own sake and not firstly with the audience in mind. The people at Sonata are productive artists, not entertainers, enjoying the studio more than the stage. This is also a thing that connects us and it also helps Sonata to keep its own sound. We are trying to not let self-conscious thoughts about performing get in the way, where you ending up at a point when you start editing your own ideas with the audience in mind. Th this is not for us. Okay, I I influences. How did you manage to create your sound? How did oh, Sanatana Records became Sanatana? Not just because of the concepts, how did the sound evolve? What are your influences? <laughs> what you guys have uh, in common? Please tell us more about this. Well, if, if we start with, with music and sidetracks, music in general, there is some great old Skando sounds, old Suomo sounds, old Australian sounds, old Russian sounds. Many of us listened to these styles back in the day. But we also listened to anything sounding unique. <laughs> and that challenged what psychedelic trance really is or was. There is so much great music out there. We find inspiration in anything from jazz breakcore, hip-hop and field recordings. Anything, anything, anything that sparks this thing. This interest in the mind, in the mind. Due to this fact of us being music lovers in general, it was a natural evolution that we started a new label five years ago called Over Harmonique. This label explores well anything that we enjoy listening to. This without any set rules or genres. Just music that we love and want to hear more of. Other influences and inspirations. There were some really inspirational parties in Sweden back then. For example the Kilsbergen ones that we've mentioned previously. And also the banging parties held by Captain Ivan. Beside this we influence each other. Humor. Emotions. Dark and weird stuff. Nature and everything it has to explore. Good movies. Weird stories, nice books, good people, or the secret surroundings that surrounds us. Everything in this universe is an influence in one way or another. Okay. Golden question. Why psychedelic trance and not anything else? It's a good question. The power of that movement was very strong in Orebro in the late 90s and early 2000s. We all got spellbound by it. 
Psychedelic trance has its magic ways of sucking people in. Every one of us started their own project, and so it fell naturally. Even, even, even though we love many other music styles, we all feel that silence has an extra magic t t touch to it. The unexplainable thing that cannot be explained in words. You just have to ex to experience it in a synapse state of mind. Okay, 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 okay. Why forest? Can you even call it forest? We, we, we never really called it f f forest. But we've, we've always connected this music with the outdoors. And all of us think that a forest is the best outdoor place to be in. Our music don't fit for the indoors, and some of our artists even say no thanks to indoor gigs because of how much the sound gets trapped and choked. Something is happening to this music when it's played in a well-suited forest. The music gets alive in a way that no other place can compare to. The mighty forest also appreciates psychedelic trance and carries it well in those surroundings. It of a magic way to help the sound travel and bounce into surround. Psychedelic music and the, and the forest, forest makes the best collaboration. We don't mind calling it forest, but it's basically just our version of o open air citrants. So for us saying forest, it means outdoors. All of us grew up in and around Orebro and the forests that are truly amazing and magical. Full of old stories and folklore, old stories and folklore, old stories and folklore, old stories and folklore. All right, guys, we finally did it. Interview with the hallucinogenic horses. Thank you so much for doing this, guys. And now we move on to some. Music.